this is Fintech Futures at Cybos, and I'm joined by Solange Chamberlain of NatWest. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me here today. Excellent. It's great to, great to have you here. Yeah, how have you enjoying the conference so far? Uh, so I arrived last night, so Excellent. and it's okay. my first Cybos, so it's been a busy morning, but it's been really good to uh, see a face-to-face -face event on that scale. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, to get started then, we'd like to give a quick introduction to yourself and, and your role then in NatWest. Hi, I'm Solange Chamberlain and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the Commercial and Institutional Business in NatWest. Great, so, so you're here taking part then in discussion around sustainability in financial services. In the wake of COP26 last year, um, a lot of talk around net zero targets at the moment. How, how do you think you know, the banking and financial landscape is, is changing and adapting to that? Do, do you think you know, people are starting to take action now? So I, I definitely think we're continuing to see momentum increase. I mean, I think we would all like to go faster. Uh, there's a lot at stake, but I do think there's a lot of very uh, strong positive messages. There were a lot of commitment made at COP26. Uh, you hear bigger and bigger numbers in terms of investment needed around how much the financial sector wants to get behind it. But I definitely think, you know, despite the environment with first COVID, then the kind of war in Ukraine actually is quite pleasing. There does seem to be momentum, people working together, uh, commitments continuing to be made and step towards those commitments. So I think it is in the right direction. As always, we need to go faster. Excellent, excellent. And what would you say some of the key actions then that banks can take to, to achieve those net zero goals? So I think it's really about putting it at the heart of your business. I don't think climate is a project like other regulations or other uh, transformation program banks have done. I think you need to put it at the heart of your business. How do you make your lending decision? How do you allocate your AUM or your capital? Uh, that's really important. And there's a lot of really great opportunities in kind of financing the transition. So I think it should be seen as something where, you know, like the UK government or where we talk on the world stage, there is revenues and good business sense. I think there's also a lot around education around having the right data to be able to measure progress. Uh, but I think it's really putting it at the core of what you do uh, in your day to day. Excellent, excellent. And do you think companies, you know, financial institutions, other businesses should be held more responsible as well when it comes to investments in, in third party suppliers? So it's, it's not just kind of promoting that good practice in their own business, but then also promoting it in, in other businesses as well. Yeah, so I definitely think, you know, with financial institutions and what we certainly did here at NatWest is you've got to get your own house in order. I, I don't think you can kind of preach uh, and ask others to do things that you wouldn't do yourself. So certainly put your own house in order. And as part of that, it's uh, your own kind of emissions, but also what supplies are you using? What standard do you hold your suppliers to? I think that's very important. I think we can see people doing that. We can do more of that. I think we need to do it in a just way. You know, we see it as, you know, we support one in four businesses. We see more and more questions being asked across the value chain. And again, it's doing it in a thoughtful way to get to the right answer. Um, but yeah, I think there's more to do. And then, especially in the financial sectors, then it's all around the emissions that you're lending to. And then that's again, kind of a greater challenge around how do you get the right decision and put climate as part of the decisions you're making. So, so looking specifically at NatWest then, what kind of initiatives do you put in place to promote sustainability? So I think we've done a lot. First of all, our own house in order in terms of our building infrastructure, the energy we use, reducing waste. Then we've done a huge amount of education uh, of our staff. It's a, colleague, it's a topic colleagues find really engaging, so it's been really good. Educating our customers. Um, then as part of what the plumbing of a bank is, making it part of our capital allocation, our strategy, our decisions on, on pricing in some instances and getting the right products to support our customers. And then the other thing is, you know, when you speak to customers in general, what they tell you is they get it, but they want it to not be more expensive and they want you to make it easy for them. So we've um, worked with partners developing a range of tools. So we had Kogo uh, for our retail customers where you go on your app and you have your spending and then we help you um, estimate your retail footprint and in the summer we launched Carbon Planner which is a similar tool trying to do that and we've talked to um, you know a lot of customers to try and make it easier for them to uh, first of all understand what their carbon footprint is uh, a lot of them are going to have to disclose it at some point so how do we help you but also once you have that information we can then help support and identify a way that you can lower that footprint. Excellent, excellent. and 
Digital transformation, obviously a big topic uh, at these kind of conferences, Cybos as well. Um, how has, has, has NatWest been kind of approaching that? Have you got any kind of a digital use cases in, in the pipeline that you're particularly excited about? Yes, yeah, so I think the one I've just mentioned, but, but Carbon Plan will be really exciting. We're here at Cybos. So, you know, data is always a key topic. How do you get the data? Climate data is particularly hard. So I think having tools where you try to make it easier for customers rather than, you know, asking customers for more and more. How do you use payments data? You can tell a huge amount from payments data. Can you use that to kind of get a better sense of the carbon footprint? Um, and I think, you know, customers, we see more and more of our customers like to engage digi digitally for many things. Um, we've had loads of innovation, but when you can start pulling the innovation together and making it easier for customers, I think that's when you get real traction. Excellent. And you mentioned it briefly earlier, but given the current macroeconomic environment that we've got at the moment, has NatWest commercial and institutional strategy changed it at all? So I think our strategy, which kind of Alice and Rose announced um, in February 2020, I think it still stands. Um, you know, a strategy is not something that we change every quarter. I mean, we support one in four businesses, climate, enterprise, um, all of those things are very important and they continue to be important. We clearly have to be mindful of the environment we operate in and you know, be there for our customers. So during COVID, you know, the strategy of our supporting our customers is there, but you do it slightly differently. And I think what's been you know, comforting is even when the, the macro is not always easy, championing climate, pushing that through, actually we're seeing a lot of receptivity because people are more conscious of the energy uses and of the energy prices. But also there's a lot of innovation and you've got, you know, supporting businesses, entrepreneurs of all diverse backgrounds, that becomes even more important. Excellent, excellent. And I mean, on that point, I know you take an active role in, in driving equality and inclusion in, in the companies that you've worked for before. Um, what do you think banks and the industry as a whole should be doing to, to promote that? So I think, you know, since I started in banking in, um, a long time ago now, there's definitely been progress. You know, working at NatWest, we have a woman CEO and a woman CFO, and that definitely drives different kind of behavior and conversation at the top table. Uh, but there's a lot more to do. I think role modeling, the way you make hiring choices, you know, it's important to do it at every level. And, and diversity, you know, gender is something I've been personally exposed to, but it's about much more than that. Um, and we've taken a range of initiatives. Um, including, I think we've got an update to kind of our racial inequality report coming out, um, I think in October. Uh, but I think we have to keep working at it. I think what's good is it feels like people understand the importance. It's just, again, in everything that we do in the decision, making it more and more inclusive. Uh, so again, we've made progress, but probably a lot more to do. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Solange, for talking with us. It's been great speaking with you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent.